Hello guys, it's Roman from Tentec. Today I will show you how you can create this simple basic low poly boat in Blender. Let's dive right in. You can see the keys that I press in the bottom left corner. First select everything with A and then delete it. Then add a cube with Shift A, go into edit mode with Tab and select this face. Move it on the Y axis with G, Y. Now we need to add some loop cuts. For that, select the face and hit Ctrl R. You can control the number of cuts with your mouse wheel. The whole thing is a little bit too big, so select everything with A and adjust the scale with S, Z. Now to bring it into the shape of a boat, select the middle edge loop while holding Alt and turn on the proportional editing with O. Press SX to scale on the X axis only. You can adjust the area of influence of the proportional editing with your mouse wheel. Alright, that looks good to me. Now let's focus the front. For that I select this face and do the same again. To make it pointy, select those two edges while holding shift. And hit M and choose collapse. I think I want my boat a little bit longer, so select everything with A and scale it on the Y axis. Alright, in the next step we need to add a couple more loop cuts to adjust the shape to be more boat-like. I'll add three of them. Now select all the top faces with Shift and scale them up with S. Make sure that the proportional editing is still on. This looks alright to me. Now select the top faces again and inset them with I. If your inset looks different, hit I again. You can switch the mode between individual on or off by pressing I. Now extrude them down with E, turn off your proportional editing with O and scale the faces down with S. Now it's finally starting to look like a boat. Let's add some details. Select the front edges and bevel them with Ctrl B. Now let's select the top faces and extrude them up with E. Select the out of face loop with Alt and add the front faces to the selection with Shift. Press Alt and E and choose faces along normals to extrude them out. To make it a little bit smoother, select this edge and bring it up with G, Z. Alright, time to add some more details. Select the edge loops we created before and make sure that we remove the edges on the front from the selection. Now press Ctrl B to bevel them just a little bit. Make sure to remove those newly created triangles from the selection. Now press Alt E and select faces along normals to extrude inwards. Now it finally looks like a low poly boat. Let's add some benches to sit on. For that select those four faces, then inset them with I and scale them on the Z axis. Let's select the two faces facing each other and press W and choose bridge faces. Do that for the other ones too. They are still a little bit too thick for me, so select it with Alt and Shift and scale them on the Z axis. And that's it for the shape. Time to add some materials. Make sure that you switch to a material view in the top right corner, so that you can see what you are doing. Now go to the materials tab and click new. And now choose a good looking shade of brown. Now 
In the next step, let's select all the faces from the details, so we can make them slightly darker. With all those faces selected, click on the plus sign to add a new material and hit Assign. Now you can choose a different color, I'm going with a darker shade of brown. Alright, I think this looks good to me. I just want to change a little detail because it looks a bit blocky. Select all the bottom faces and scale them down a bit. Well, this looks better to me. And I think I want the benches to be a dark brown too. So select them with Shift and Alt, switch the material and hit Assign. Okay, I think that looks much better. And at this point, I think we are finished with the basic low poly boat. I hope that I didn't miss out on anything and that you could learn something new. If you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and don't forget to leave feedback so I can improve. If you liked the tutorial, leave a like and subscribe and we're gonna see us next time. Goodbye!